Steve Morgan here, Australian Bass Tournaments just finished the Humminbird round of the 13 Fishing Bass Pro Series down here on Victoria's Lake Glen Maggie. Non-boater champion here, Nick Brown, wins his first ABT event from the back of the boat. Mate, it's been a long time coming, you've put in the miles. Yeah, I've done plenty of kilometres over the, t over the journey, I think this is year four now, so yeah, wrapped, wrapped. Four years of fishing and now you've got one bit of wood to put on the trophy cabinet. Yeah, that's that's that's, that's it. Goal. Timber and badgers, that's what we fish for. Yeah, of course you do. Um, tell, take us through your two days of fishing on Glen Maggie here. It was uh, very good to you on day one in particular. Tell us about the pattern. Yeah, so pre-fished with Langers, so pre-fished all the comps with him and worked out a bit of a pattern above the trees and then 40 took me to the trees, thank, thank Luckily, goodness. Yep. So, um, yeah, I just watched what 40 was doing and probably either counter down either less or more than him i didn't want to go the lure to go through the same spot yep. so if he paused and let it sink for five i might have gone eight or three and just rolled through the chatterbait through the top so yep. that's where i got my two big ones in the morning take us through the tackle and the lure that you were using uh new abt sponsor noiki that looks like yeah, one of their yeah, kaishans little, little noiki so it's um yeah i love these little chatterbaits so tell us take us through the pattern uh just slow rolling i've just got it all tangled up here <laughs> That's all right, take it through. So just slow rolling it through the tops of the trees and there's actually single single trees that I got, them, got the two big ones off, so. They have got a, uh, they have a nice sharp hook on them there, mate, but that's the smallest one that they make. How heavy is that one? I think that one's a seven grams. So that's one quarter of an ounce and uh, you fish it with a, uh, with a stinger hook as well? Yeah, just throw a little stinger on the back, so nothing too fancy. Um, no, no trailer either? Just, just as it is, nice and simple, straight out of the packet, so they work well. And I was just throwing it on um, the Miller Rods Vibe Freak, so, um, yeah, I... I you, you're telling me that was one of the Miller Rods that survived this weekend. You had a bit of an incident with the others. I had four that went into a car door and only two come out, so... Two came out alive. Two came out alive, so, um, yeah, so I'll, I'll give... Give the tackle shops a bit of a call soon and get a couple more in. So I, d I just love them. Yeah, they're just you can fish all day, especially in these tournaments, long hours. You need need good gear, I think. Yeah. Take us through the uh, Braden leader setup. It doesn't seem like particularly heavy gear, uh, and there's some mean bass out there. What what braid? What leader? Just the suffix a th uh, eight eight three two eight three two. So um, Trally's got big spools of that at the shop. Oh, really? So yep. I just just roll out the back of there and and spool up with those. So I'm running ten and ten. Yep. So and what, what sort of lead are you using? Uh, 10 pound. Yep. I was only using 10, so I was nice. a bit lighter than normal. So, yep. um, But, yeah, no, it seemed to work well. Any uh, any zingy on the weekend, or you land everything you caught? I landed everything I caught. So it yeah. was, I didn't catch many fish this weekend, but the ones I got stuck. And um, later in the day, I got I did get fish on little cranks on the edges too. Yep. So, But without those fish, I probably wouldn't have won. So That's it was beautiful. good. Take us through uh, anyone you want to thank for the weekend. You're still doing some work for Trelly there? Yeah, doing a bit of work for Trelly. So I've got the SOS for next week, so I might be in there next week. So come in and say good day. Um, obviously the family back at home. Little Nate uh, draws me and Lang as a map every yep. every every pre-fish comp. So it was good to, to do that. Um, Bassman Spinnerbaits, Glenn. Glenn's been sort of supporting me for about 17 years now. So yep. um, it just just... Good quality gear through Glen, you know, Miller Rods. Ian's helped me out a bit. Um, yeah, so there's, there's too many to, to thank. And that, obviously you guys, the ABT, bringing it down to Victoria, just it's only four and a half hours home, so yeah, which is good. Like a holiday. <laughs> yeah, yeah, compared to 14 and 15 hours. But it's worth the trip, and I just encourage everyone to just come and do it. Yep. Um, one more question I've got. What's going on with Trelly's Australia Day ads? They're pretty boring this year. Funny enough, we actually saw them at home, and we are just like what's going on here this is normal so um, i'm sure he'll have a good ad coming out soon so he has gotten trouble in the past so i one i just wanted to thank my boaters as well yep. so 40 and mully were great um yep. just yeah just great to fish with and gave me the opportunity to fish all weekend awesome and trelly get our eyes on you mate they better improve next year